Hi everyone, this is attorney Lillian and I am here today with your Tuesday tip. So, what is a removal of condition? This is basically where you have a green card through your spouse and it is a two-year green card okay remember if you have a two-year green card it's a conditional residency and you have to remove that condition within two years of having that card so before the card expires you have to file to remove the condition so if you do all of that you file your application um you have your interview some cases do not get interviewed um but most do you have your interview and then the next thing after your interview is for the officer to either approve it or to ask for more information before they feel comfortable approving your case. So we want to go through these um, step by step from beginning to the actual interview on things you can do to make your case strong um, from the jump and to prepare you for your interview because those are the things that make or break your case. Okay, you. So, okay, so the next thing you can do, okay, the next thing you can do is to prepare for your interview. So one thing is having documentation that you send in with your application. The interview, if you are scheduled for an interview, the interview will make or break your case. And I will explain. Okay, I will tell you a little story. So I had a couple, they were now divorced, right? They filed jointly to remove the condition. By the time of the interview, they were already divorced. But the US citizen spouse was still willing to go to the interview. But USCIS wanted to make sure, hey, is this marriage, was this marriage real, right? It didn't matter, you know, that you two are now divorced was it real how did you meet uscis actually took the time the officer took the time interviews the individuals separately and just compared their answers make sure that they were ready you know that they were actually in a relationship and not just here to um make uscis think that they had a marriage even though it ended in divorce so when i when they came to me they had an interview they they were scared they weren't sure what to expect and we went through a mock interview okay we prepared them for the interview because when you are divorced and you are still in a relationship like they were um and trying to figure out the best ways um to go about removing the condition especially if you have already filed to remove the condition it, it, it can be very tricky, right? It can be very daunting to go in there and be like, yes, my marriage was real, but we're now divorced. Um, but we're still, you know, friendly with each other. My spouse is here ready to testify to our marriage and all of that. So sometimes it can be daunting, but, but the thing that makes all the difference in the world is preparation. Okay. If you do not, if you do not prepare for your interview i am sorry okay it is not going to turn out well for you okay you need to you know have your documentations and all of that but also be prepared to answer questions about you and your spouse it is going to be very similar to the interview to your marriage interview that you had when you had the when you got the two-year green card okay just be prepared to answer more questions um about your relationship over the past two years by the time you have your interview it's going to probably be like three or four years but just know that's what they're expecting they're expecting you to be able to show them that you have built a life together that you continue to build a life together okay so your interview is very key if you're filing together or even if you're filing without your spouse so let's say you um, got your two year green card, but then there was some domestic violence and you left the relationship. 
and you're not divorced yet, you can still file to remove your condition. Even if you get divorced, you can still file to remove the condition. The only thing is the officers will ask you questions about that, right? Um, and I, you know, you just have to prepare for that type of questioning during your interview and be prepared to still answer questions about your relationship. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you're divorced. The main thing the officers are looking at is whether your marriage was real, whether you entered your marriage in good faith and wanted to build a life together, even if it doesn't work out. Right. Even if it doesn't work out and you got a divorce or you're separated due to abuse, you can still go ahead and get your 10 year green card. But you have to be prepared for that. Listen, OK, so that is your tip for today. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and if you like this video, go ahead and share it. If you know someone who needs to hear this, um, go ahead and share the video with them. If you like what I'm talking about, like the video. And if you're watching in a place that you can subscribe and you do not want to miss any of my uploads, go ahead and hit the sub subscribe button. And I am Lillian Chukura. I am the lawyer and owner of Lily Legal, where we help our clients get status for themselves and for their family using the U.S. immigration law system. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.